In January, New Orleans leaders announced a national search for the next police chief. Well, the city is still working on a formal agreement with the International Association of Chiefs of Police, but they hope to begin that process next week, and they say they will dig deep into candidates' employment histories. Yeah, but with Mayor LaToya Cantrell pushing to make Michelle Woodfork the permanent choice, we decided to look at her work history with the NOPD. So help me God. Amen. <laughs> Mayor LaToya Cantrell hinted she hopes any national search for the city's next police chief starts from within, specifically with the woman she appointed as interim superintendent, Michelle Woodfork. What it is, it's, it's a search with a real focus on leadership that we have within. I believe it 100 percent that starts with Michelle Woodfork, but also other men and women within our department that deserve fair consideration. Cantrell has touted Woodfork's long history with the NOPD. And I understand that with this appointment comes great responsibility and accountability. I will serve with honesty and integrity. We wanted to know more about her 34-year career. While law enforcement experts say a spotless record is rare in police work, the official list of complaints we received through a public records request contains four. Over the past 10 years, internal investigators cleared her of three out of four of those complaints. In 2013, she received this letter of reprimand for neglect of duty after she refused to do administrative tasks assigned to her by her captain. The letter says Woodfork told her boss, quote, it's not my job, it's yours, and I'm not doing it. The list, or long sheet, should contain all the complaints ever made against Woodfork during her 34-year career, but this doesn't. It stops at 2012. We pieced together more of her past using civil service records, court records, and by talking to sources, ultimately confirming the information with the NOPD. Our search found three more incidents involving relationships Woodfork had with fellow police officers between 1994 and 2005. Two of those involved allegations of domestic violence. Records show she was investigated, suspended, and demoted for her actions, including lying to investigators in two of the incidents. Some of that discipline was overturned on appeal, including her demotion. But in all, she served 35 days of suspensions. Law enforcement, because it's such a, a, a high profile, you know, position, uh, you want to look at that and really do your due diligence and, and making sure even if it was 20 years ago, you know, uh, why did you do it? Where did you learn from it? Because uh, we've all done things that uh, we regret. The civil service records paint a picture of a tumultuous relationship between Woodfork and former NOPD officer Angela Davis. Court records indicate they were in a lengthy relationship in the 2000s. In December of 2003, a witness called police saying Davis and Woodfork got into a physical fight outside of Davis's New Orleans East home. After the brawl ended, the witness told investigators Woodfork broke a window on the home and poured transmission fluid through it on the wall and the carpet. The NOPD investigated but did not charge Woodfork with a crime. But civil service documents show internal investigators found Woodfork lied to them about breaking the window and she was suspended from the force in June of 2004 for 20 working days. A month later, Woodfork was investigated for another incident involving Davis. Woodfork was at the scene of a fight between Davis and two other officers at Tulane Hospital. And this sanction letter again found Woodfork lied to investigators about what she saw and actions she took. This time, Chief Eddie Compass recommended she be suspended for 30 days and demoted from sergeant to police officer. That punishment was later overturned by the civil Service Commission on appeal. The incidents with Davis weren't the first time Woodfork was disciplined. We discovered through multiple source accounts that Woodfork was investigated and suspended in 1994. While in uniform with her gun on, Woodfork verbally confronted the ex-girlfriend of a male NOPD officer Woodfork was in a relationship with. She served a 15-day suspension in that case. People change, you know, like I said, I've made mistakes. I'm sure you've made, we've all made mistakes. When you're doing a check, I mean, you're also interviewing people around you. You know, you know, what do they think? Where are you? 
uh, because we're all human. We asked three times for Wood Fork to do an interview with us for this story, but an NOPD spokesperson declined, saying in an email, quote, Wood Fork maintains her innocence in each of these incidents. Again, these incidents do not reflect the person she is today, nor have they hindered her in being an effective sergeant, lieutenant, captain, or her ability to lead the NOPD as superintendent. Experts like Ismail say these incidents will likely be considered by the IACP in their national police chief search. How much weight they will carry remains to be seen. I'm here to fight for you. We're here for you. It's all I've ever wanted to do is save my city, make it safe for citizens. Former Superintendent Ronald Surpass, now a criminal justice professor himself, was known for his you lie, you die stance on internal investigations. Surpass said he couldn't comment on Wood Fork specifically, but, quote, having a public search means the candidates are going to be vetted in every possible way. As a person who's been a candidate in multiple searches and has assisted in searches, these are critical for the mayor or governor to make the best choice. Surpass was at one point the president of the IACP, the organization that is expected to do this search. And we want to add that we did reach out to Davis for comments on this, but she didn't get back to us.